So there are definitely uh, cases in which positive selection has driven mutations from a very low frequency to a very high frequency um, in different populations of, of humans. Uh, and so this isn't in, in contrast to what we're, we're, we're saying. We're saying that it does occur, it has occurred, and, that's, uh, and we have strong cases suggesting that this has been an effect in humans. However, what we're, what we're arguing is that this isn't necessarily the predominant mode of human evolution, that there are many other ways in which humans can adapt to novel environments and novel food sources um, that aren't characterized by this, this situation where you have a single mutation driving the entire phenotypic effect. Um, I think this is largely in lines with what people are finding when they perform genome-wide association studies uh, looking at different diseases. People are finding that single mutations in the genome don't necessarily seem to contribute um, a large amount of the variation um, in these human phenotypes, in these human diseases. Uh, and I think that this is largely in lines with our finding that, uh, that adaptation doesn't operate on such simple means either. That there are probably many mutations throughout the genome that are all operating in a similar um, direction to cause changes within and between populations. While our, our study does um, indeed call into question some of the, the simpler paradigms for studying um, adaptation in humans, um, it really reflects the ability and the, the type of data that we can now analyze. And so the thousand genomes data is providing a type of data that hasn't been in existence previously. This is the first time we're able to think about entire genomes uh, worth of, of information from many hundreds of individuals. Um, and because of this, we're actually able to, to start to think critically about the different modes of natural selection. Um, it's not necessarily that um, we're throwing out old ideas, we're really just enabling um, a new series of, of analyses to take place and to really start to learn something about, about human evolution.